I'm Carolyn Kirby and this is my new novel When We Fall. It's an adventure and dark love story set on opposite sides of Europe during the Second World War. One question that I'm often asked as an author is about my book covers and what were the ideas behind the design. With this one people have asked what does a woman in a swimsuit have to do with the Second World War and also is she flying or diving? Well, the answer is both. I wanted very much to have a cover image that could be depicting either of the two strong female characters who were central to this story. Who is flying? Well, that's V, a young woman obsessed with aeroplanes and flying, who is determined to become a, a pilot herself. So the picture of a woman in the air conveys V's love of flight from a distance, the silhouette even looks like one of the aircraft, which are shown inside the front cover, which V might have flown around wartime Britain in her job as a pilot. And who is diving? Well, across Europe, there's my other strong female character, Eva. She lives in the occupied Polish city of Poznan where there is a swimming pool that plays a pivotal part in the plot. Eva works with her father hosting the Nazi officers billeted in their family guest house. But Eva is also secretly working undercover for the Polish resistance. One of her clandestine missions involves the city's new indoor swimming pool. And so the picture on the cover could be Eva launching herself from the high diving board and at the same time falling into terrible danger. The Poznan swimming pool is in fact a real building that still exists and its existence seemed to me to be a symbol of the war's impact on Poland as a country. Because the building that houses the pool was originally built not as a sports facility but as the grand and beautiful synagogue for Poznan's Jewish community. Then, during the Second World War, the Nazis decided to eradicate all trace of Judaism by turning the huge ornate synagogue into a plain and functional Olympic-sized swimming pool. Inside and out, no trace of the building's religious purpose remained. Here is a description from my novel of the building as ever sees it in the autumn of 1943. From the outside, the swimming pool is smaller than the synagogue used to be, but its newly brutal profile seems to occupy more space. Gone are the curving walls and decorated arches, and bending roof lines and rectangular windows now take their place. The building has been stripped of cupolas and pinnacles like a head shaved. Incredibly, after the Second World War, the converted synagogue continued to be Poznan's municipal swimming pool for over 60 years. Since 2007, the building has stood empty, occasionally used for concerts and art installations, but increasingly falling into disrepair. Once again owned by the Jewish community, the synagogue swimming pool is too important to demolish, but finding a new function for it has so far proved too difficult. So I hope you now understand the significance of the woman on the front of the cover of When We Fall, and I hope you will seek out this paperback edition with its striking cover from your local bookshop.